Hi, it's John. It's the 14th of April 2016 and it's a lovely morning. It's about nine, half past nine sort of time and the Victoria plum is really out of blossom now and it looks like I've pruned it in a reasonably sort of correct way because um, it's got blossom on it. Um, and the pear tree still looks hopeful for some blossom at the back. It's not, not come into blossom quite quite as quickly as the Victoria plum. And the russet apple, uh, that looks hopeful for blossom as well. Just a few leaves and then it'll be blossoming. Of course I've had to prune that as well, so I think I've done it right. But um, to me this is the official beginning of spring, the 14th of April, because the, um, when I worked on the farm, it was the second week in April. I always reckoned that was the uh, like the standard time to let the cows out. Um, and if it was before that, I'd reckon it was an early spring. And if it was after that, it'd be a late spring. It was normally dependent a bit on the rain and the state of the fields, whether they were too muddy to let the cows out, you know, too 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 wet. Um, but uh, this year seems sort of bang on as far as spring is concerned, not early and not late. Um, so yesterday was really warm, but we have had the cold again, but we've got quite a lot of chicks hatching out now in the incubator. So um, the ones that I set on the 23rd of March are uh, all hatching out now. Um, uh, and it seemed to be a successful brood, whereas the previous ones have been very hit and miss. But um, I should have a lot of chicks about shortly. And then also I'll be selling a lot of poultry at the next poultry auction on the first Sunday in May. Because the ones I took to the last auction sold very well. £24 for a a, a mottled pekin, which was very good, and Helen's been trying to talk me into selling some, and I've sort of, yes, I, I do need to sell some, and I thought I may as well sell some pullets, because <clears throat> they'll be laying pullet eggs, which won't be good for hatching, and uh, so I may as well get rid of them, and um, so it's all good. Right, bye for now.